Hello everyone. In this episode, I will be showing you on how to replace the battery on an A1398 2015 model 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina. So first of all, if you have a cover or something on it, remove the cover. And next thing next, you will be needing to remove the back, uh, the back case. Uh, you will need a P5 to remove the screws and uh, make sure not to mix up the screws because some of them are shorter and some of them are longer so I uh, will be removing them first So when you remove all 10 screws from the back, what you need to do, you will be removing the back case. You will pull it with your finger and you can put that aside. And next thing you want to do, you want to make sure to disconnect the battery power, obviously. And uh, flip the computer open, push the power button for uh, let's say 10 seconds that will ensure if there is any power remaining on the logic board or the system that will drain out and that will make the operation safer so I pushed it for about 10 seconds now close back and now what I want to do is to basically start the, uh, the battery uh, removal so next uh, you will need to remove the trackpad cable you would need a torque for all right so let's remove the two screws that they are holding the bracket for the trackpad and using your plastic tools spudger uh, you will push up the trackpad cable and without damaging it because this is a flex cable and you can easily damage it you don't have to disconnect it from this side you can just leave it uh, alone it will be harder to put it back so just kind of uh, disconnect the area that is connected to the logic board here so now it's time to remove the battery and how we would be able to remove the battery obviously we need to start with the battery board the battery board so i will just remove this plastic cover from the above the battery board and there is another t4 screw that need to be removed using your t4 and just gonna remove it just a little all right put it aside and there is two of them one the other side I will remove that one too perfect and now so this one it's removable now what you want to do using your uh, plastic tool so maybe you go from the back side and find your way without damaging the battery because remember you don't want it to explode on you and cause fire so I'm just pushing my sponger underneath of the battery okay so so this is removed remember this batteries are connected to the body to the chassis of your MacBook Pro using uh, uh, double-sided tape so it is glued and uh, some are uh, some are much easier to remove depends on the environment you've been using them sometimes the uh, the whole adhesive get uh, get weakened and get mushy so it's easier to remove and some are even after years it's kind of hard to remove the battery but that's fine you know with a little bit of patience 
and you're gonna work your way out remember last thing you want is to damage the battery when removing so have lots of patience okay so these two cells are removed so far and Remember to definitely use the flat side of your plastic tool to remove. Don't use the sharp side because that will cause the battery to uh, basically to damage the battery. This one will slide in and separate the tape from the uh, battery, basically separate the battery from the chassis. Uh, So this cell is also disconnected. There you go, that's the last part of it. All right. So when you're removing this, uh, you want to make sure you get the trackpad cable off the way. All right, we're down to one more cell to go. So I think I, I'll be able to separate this safely now. Okay, so battery is removed. And look at all of this adhesive that Apple uses. So now, next part, after getting this thing out, and make sure to recycle it appropriately, you would need a replacement battery. Well, you can find the replacement batteries on many places. You can also find them in our website in techdep.com under the repair section. And, uh, or you can just send your laptop to us and we're gonna replace the battery for you. Just look for the repair. All right, I will disconnect the adhesive section. So it's ready to go. All we have to do, place it back. That easy. And push it firmly. And remember to remove the extra plastic here as it's not necessary.
all right and this is a battery is a uh, a1618 uh, model and only compatible with the 2015 model make sure uh, uh, to get a different battery actually the 2012 and early 2013 uses a different type of battery and a mid um, sorry late 2013 and uh, mid 2014 also uses a different battery so don't don't um, make a mistake just because it's named a1398 uh, they're not using the same battery uh, what you can do you can uh, send us an email uh, to support at techdep.com and send a serial number of your laptop and we can tell you uh, we can send you the link of the correct model of the part that you need because most of the parts they do look the same all right so so next thing next after placing the battery firmly in place uh you need to uh rescrew back the the board the battery board to the chassis so using your t4 screwdriver align the board with the chassis align the uh, screw area with the chassis and then tie it down let's see all right this one is aligned and screw back next thing next you can put back the trackpad cable and make sure it's aligned before you push it in it is aligned now push it in make sure it securely is inside so your trackpad won't stop working after replacing the battery make sure it is connected securely and then next you will put the trackpad cable bracket in place and once you put that you would just align it bracket to the logic board and don't put excessive uh, pressure because you may break the uh, screw dies that is it's inside of the logic board they're very uh, you know they're not made for superman tying the screws so make sure just gently tie it down and don't over torque it okay so this one is in and next thing you put this uh, battery plastic cover put it in and next thing next if everything is in place Align the power. Make sure your battery power cable is aligned with the logic board. And if it is, click it in. It should click without any problem. So, pushing the battery with my fingers firmly just to make sure the adhesive is sticking to both side and last thing is to put the back cover back so align the back cover and put the screws back in place i hope you guys uh, learned and enjoyed uh, watching this episode if you guys have any question uh, make sure to leave it in the comment area of this video please visit our website if you're looking for uh, refurbished renewed uh, Mac computers or PCs tablets cell phones or you're looking to sell one we also sell all type of uh, uh, offer all type of uh, parts for all the gadgets from logic board LCDs uh, batteries and along with tools to uh, give you the ability to repair your gadgets and on the end if you don't feel like repairing it yourself you can also send it to us 
we have experienced technician here that uh, uh, they've been doing this for years and they can get your electronics back to optimal working condition. Once again, my name is David and I uh, enjoyed making this video for you guys and hope to see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much and see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe please for more video like this one. Bye bye.